Bitch, yeah. I, I recorded that, son. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, man, look. Right. Man, I'm hanging out with family right here. This is my man, Jay Free. He making this thing happen in Akron right now. Uh, hey, yo, Jay Free, we with the uh, reporter newspaper online.com. AkronHipHop.com. First off, I want to thank you for rolling with us, supporting what we do. We've been doing it for years, but you, my man, has been doing what you do for years. Yes. Now, um, you back in the saddle like you... Like you hungry or something, man. Every time I turn around, Jay Free is doing his thing. He on the Facebooklet, on the Instagram. Now, with the help of Mecca Media Entertainment, you about to launch your website. What's going on, man? What makes you so hungry? And it's almost like you just got out here and started, but you've been doing it for years. What's going on? I got young ones behind me that I'm looking after, and just I want to show them the way. And hard work pays off, no matter what, you, no matter what you're doing. You got to have a passion for it. And I want them to see my drive and, and as well take care of them at the same time. Yeah, so so um, I've noticed for the last, since Kwanzaa, man, I didn't know it was this many barbers in the, in the city. It's a lot of us. Man, it's a whole bunch, man. I was like, okay, first off, big ups, man. Thanks for participating in the Kwanzaa thing. You're welcome. But uh, I've learned a lot. One thing I've learned that um, people like to stay groomed. Brothers like to keep it keep it all the way grouped up. Yes, yes. Is that different since when you started? Was the game different? Would they just get a haircut and keep it moving? What's up? I mean, the, the, uh, the city is a lot more populated from when I started 23 years ago. I mean, but, you know, identity and how you look is, is a big thing right now. And it, it, it done upgraded a little more in the city, you know? It done Word. upgraded a little more in the city, so. And it's a lot more barbers, like you say, so. It's not a competition thing. I never like to be involved in any competition, but some people make it like that, so. I do my best, and I like to keep people coming back. So, so what what is it that um, make you um, hit social media aggressively the way you're doing? It? I mean, like I said, you was on the Facebooklet, you on the Instagram, and you saying that's not even enough. I'm gonna do the uh, the website too. What makes what makes you hit it like that? I really just wanna I wanna reach more people and touch more. And I just wanna touch more people and see some of my old people that I used to cut and some of their kids and grandkids. Your barber is more than just your barber. And uh, I like to give back to the kids too, you know, so I like to reach out. And I just want people to know I'm still out here, pretty much. That's what's up. So you're not leaving nothing unturned. If, if you got a MySpace, my man Jay Free on your MySpace. He's, he's doing his thing. <laughs> but let's talk about this website right quick, man. What do you um, expect? I mean, what do you expect the website to do for you through Mecha Media Entertainment? Just, I really want to, um, of course, pump my, you know, pump my work build my revenue but at the same time I just I really want to have a internet home instead of just hanging out in neighborhoods that's a dope little insight for your invite you dropping that knowledge you can't get in college right there yeah. and that's what I always say man a lot of people especially when we talk in business a lot of people uh, don't know the importance of the, of the actual website right. I mean nowadays man people want to be at home click and see is it worth bundling up going out you know what I'm saying? Uh, is it worth it? So if if uh, McDonald's have a website, if Sears have a website, if Save a Lot have a website, what do we look like? Not um, having like you like you call it a, a home on the internet. And when you say home on the internet, are you saying basically what I'm saying so people can come in and actually well not come in but get on right. from the house? See what I do. See if I'm available and what all, what all services I provide for. You gonna have different sales and different promotions on the website? Oh yes. Different specials? Oh, yes. Yes, most definitely. I got my touch up Tuesdays, fresh cut Fridays, and just different things I may just throw in there just to kinda, you know, little catchy things to bring you in and spend a dollar, spend some time and get a couple laughs and some knowledge also. That's my man right there. Listen, man, anything you wanna say right now to the people, to the young um, generation that's coming up that might wanna be a barber or may wanna be a barber? Make it your passion, stay at it, and you always want to be your own boss, no matter what, how you look at it. All leaders lead, but they got to follow somebody at one point in time. So stay hungry. You know, that's that's dope. Because uh, one thing I'm realizing is you have barbers, then you have entrepreneurs. You have people who look at it from an entrepreneur perspective. Some people looking at it from, even though, correct me if I'm wrong, being a barber is an entrepreneur. Yes, sir. But some people want to take it to the next level and get their own shops. Is there a difference? Is there a thin line to make those two? Somebody who say, I just want to cut. Here's my chair I'm written to somebody say I want to provide a location for people to come in and I'm uh see on, on the entrepreneur side is it's a fine line but at the same time you know some other some barbers have other careers and other things they're doing not saying their passion isn't there but 
once you once you own a shop, you're making a way for other people to take care of their families too. So on that side of it, it's it's, it's a bigger thing to handle, but it's a blessing no matter how you look at it. Even though it's a it's a bigger load to carry, but you provide other people an opportunity to eat. That's my man. Listen, man, in closing, man, I want to tell somebody, come over here and check my man out. Hey, where you cutting at right now? Uh, I'm on Custom Cuts at 31 Frank Boulevard. Uh, the phone number that I provide you is 330-208-7290. You can email me, text. I'm, I'm sorry. Edit that. <laughs> you can text me or call me. I'll work you in. I'll take walk-ins and appointments. That's what's up, man. Hey, listen, man, one of the most popular barbers in Akron, as the foundation of what he does is... Commitment to friendship, commitment to relationships, community building. That's what you've been doing the whole time, which is why you can come back to a spot like Akron, Ohio, and just like nothing never happened, like you ain't never been out of town in Europe, wherever, Okinawa, Japan, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's my man's tell somebody. Peace. Have some fun and get something done, y'all. Have some fun and get something done.